Hi everybody, uh, it's me again, Thomas, uh, talking about Bulwark, the game I'm developing and on the channel, channel you're at, uh, watching this, hopefully. Um, haven't heard it from me for a little bit, uh, had a bit of a, um, uh, a strange month, uh, my dad passed away uh, and that took me out of development for quite a few weeks. I'm back to work now, um, making up for lost time as it were. Uh, but you know that's quite unusual because before that happened I was doing an update every few days and uh, then there were weeks of nothing uh, so I, I thought about talking about the new update that went live today for the evolving demo of Bulwark uh, its main feature is a new tutorial uh, we haven't uh, me and the publisher haven't had Chris Lines the, the, the actor who does the advisor record all the new lines yet so we've had uh, Gary who's the community manager at Wired voice some of the lines for you so uh, uh, we can test drive it and you know you don't put a stage actor on stage with a temporary lines so all your feedbacks appreciated on the new tutorial uh, and there's also a bit of new content so uh, let's dive in uh, the latest version of bulwark which has an update finally after month uh, today live so let me go there um, stop talking, Thomas. Um, let's start off with the free build mode. Uh, and um, yes. Okay. So uh, one of the first things people who've already played the game or seen older footage uh, will notice is that uh, there's a new cursor on the ground. So uh, this little surveyor in, in, in the free allows you to explore all the islands and decide where to start building. Uh, and it has now has a little icon. Um, that's the type of outpost you can place. In free build mode, it's just an experimental. You can do whatever you want. You have infinite outposts. And you can see I can skip through all the factions. So let's make an uh, imperial outpost here. Skip back to flying and... Uh, like a Mensa out, but these guys don't like each other normally, but uh, let's get it right on the... Um, so that is a now a method to change between these different outposts. Um, you can also see that the cursor itself, its behavior across the rocks is a little bit more smoother. There is little animations where it pops in, pops out. Um, these are tending to make it a little bit more smoother because as you can see, you can go through the rocks and on the mountains, go higher, lower, whatever you want. Um, and before that was fairly instantaneous and felt a little bit janky. So I've, I've worked to improve it, make it smoother. And when you start flying, it disappears because you can't build when you're flying. So basically you have to slow down into, or get close enough to build anything. So let's let's do a little bit. This, uh, this is the, see the, do a little bit of outpost while building. So this is all, this uh, is the Manser outpost or one of them. Uh, it's perched quite precariously at the moment. Uh, and here is the Imperial one, so you can see what it does. Um, so so that's that's th these outposts, uh, being able to select. It's, it's a lot more fun now in free build because you say, ah, let's make an old pirate outpost. And before it was random, so you had to wait till one of the pirate outposts would pop up. Very annoying, better now. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. Uh, one other thing that's new to the current demo, and let's upgrade our command tower a little bit, is we have all these commanders in the game and they allow you to sort of um, uh, assign them to your command towers, which is, are these fatter towers, um, and they'll turn them into their headquarters. Uh, and there's a new one, which is uh, actually based off Gary of, uh, of Wired Productions. Uh, and uh, it's a Warbird commander. Uh, that is Gary's force uh, uh, voice, actually. Um, and it's a new architecture that fits the Freehouse style. So it's distinct from these three. It's actually part of this architecture style. And the Freehouse are basically the civilians. So you can see how that matches that. And it, it, it you know, these things are, they spawn units. So it spawned a, f a Warbird because it's a small tower. Uh, but they also allow the architecture for that faction to come through. 
uh, and uh, uh, there's also a design tool to get your, you know, the idea behind Worldwide is to design your settlement for your dreams, but also have it be functional. So the different architecture denotes function and also style aesthetics or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and here's three distinct styles. So uh, uh, that's a little bit of a preview of some of the new functions and improvements there. Um, let's go to campaign mode and let's... This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world. Thank you. Uh, and let's do the new tutorial, give you a taste. So why are we here? We've already built a few so I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting this settlement up and running. Um, skip. Uh, so that is actually Gary's voice. And I'll just go through it for a little bit. So let's... Uh, so in, in this instance of the Bulwark tutorial, you cannot skip to the skybound to the surveyor. Uh, which is now also hovering behind your towers, not on top of them. Um, so I have to build on the ground. There is no tower so that's actually the actor, the final actor's voice. We had a few old lines. Um, and it's request. I'm going to skip some of these voices. So I've actually skipped a few bits there just quickly because the tutorial allows you to do that. Uh, but if you if you if you see the stone quarry, the wood mill, and the outposts were already there, just a matter of connecting them and uh, explaining to everybody how to build something and how the economy you know supplies goods across the walkways uh, and how to improve those. So the, the fun bit is now that we get to fly, we've already built a little bit. It's a fairly free tutorial, so you can mess around and, and you know, it, everybody's settlement will look different and hopefully you know, we'll get that building bug where you go, ah, oh, I can build really cool stuff. Uh, and then for only the end of the tutorial, uh, it requires you to fly around. So I get these are uh, placeholder voiceovers because we're now going to get one of the originals. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ores, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Mine will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. All right. So uh, this is actually fairly similar to the old tutorial. So uh, one of the things that's happened is um, if I assign the wrong captain, uh, it will actually give you warnings and how to solve it. Uh, and even if you go to the ground, it will give you the appropriate instructions, uh, uh, how to open this menu. And no, uh, there's also a voiceover Alpha we I quickly skipped, uh, uh, which is came in a bit late. Well, thank you. For this trade route, iron is required. 
but wood is also recommended to expand the mind later. So, uh, yes. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resource. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. All right, so, um, and then. With iron, we can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost to a proper citadel. And also, major resources now at our disposal. Let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors, as well as additional foundations and balconies. All right. So, uh, the potential to reach high into the sky. The height are only being dependent on the level of access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. So, um. The, the command towers, being as important as they are, which we saw in the free build mode, uh, have gotten a few more stages to the tutorial. So, the more expansive your tower becomes, the more you powerful the commanders we can decide here will be. Well, we already have uh, uh, foundations. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander along our retina. And here we go. New forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. So this tower and this commander now stand watch over our settlements. Their forces will deploy. Join our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area. Finding more people that will help us to thrive. Okay. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. All right, so let's do. Oh, on the map. Oh, let's have a look. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark. Anyway, so there, there is a lot more voice dialogue. Well, not dialogue, but just feedback, because it's a minimalist UI game. Um, I don't want text bubbles everywhere. It's just the guy just pops up and gives you an overview of what's happening, and then you can you know look on the map. Uh, the same goes for when you meet someone. Oh, that's a bug. Uh, when you hire a, a commander. So uh, it actually gives you a little bit more, even when the tutorial properly is done, a little bit more explanation on how all of this works. Uh, even though I've been skipping through it and that's horrid, um, I hope you've uh, you know, uh, enjoyed looking at a uh, new tutorial or watch me skip parts of it. Um, uh, and uh, well, this is now live for everybody to test. Uh, I already noticed a few bugs, so a new update is about half an hour away. Um, and yeah, uh, uh, the, the game was doing well with the updates before uh, I dropped out for a little bit. You know, you can see the reflection on the on the on the on the water. All that stuff was uh, put in uh, also fairly recently. So if you, if you haven't played the game for like a month, it's well worth a try. You know, including if you fly around, the units you gained uh, actually go to where you are pointing. Uh, and they'll actually keep up with your surveyor craft and not linger. So they're actually a lot more useful when you get into a fight. Um, so that's it for now. Gonna sign off and uh, thanks for watching.